Receiving simulator transmission. Uploading transmitted feed. Initializing playback sequence. Log execute. Hey everyone, Cypher here, and welcome back to Cypher Plays Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we caught a few Pokemon at various areas in the Kanto region. Went through the Pokemon Mansion on Cinnabar Island, getting the secret key to the Cinnabar Island Gym, where we handily trounced Blaine and his fire types. In this episode, we've made it to one island in the Sevi Islands archipelago, and while we're waiting on Bill and Celio to complete whatever work they're doing on the PC system here, we're going to be exploring these islands, starting with to the right of one island, Kindle Road. So, now that we've gone over everything, I, nothing's changed. I pretty much just went right where I... I pretty much uh, started up right where I left off last time. Uh, today is going to mainly focus on getting through all of the three islands that we can visit right now. Uh, mainly going to be exploring Kindle Road, Two Island, and Three Island. I don't expect there to be all that much. Oop. Well, it looks like we're doing a fight. Wasn't it? Wasn't planning on it, but oh well. So, in terms of this side quest, I believe it is actually optional, so if you guys don't want to have to go through all the one, two, and three island shenanigans. By all means, you don't have to. I personally am just trying to use it as an excuse to get a few extra levels on my team before we take on the final gem. Probably should have went to the Pokemon Center between episodes, but oh well. Shouldn't be too much of an issue because there is one place that we'll be stopping off real quick, but in terms of this story, there's not really much left to do. Uh, there's a, there is this side quest, we got the final gym, which we actually have already been to before, but couldn't actually fight, because at the time that we first went to the town that it was in, it was closed, and we'll soon see why that was the case, but... For now, let's just focus on getting through this area. Uh, Want to avoid fighting them. This will be actually a pretty good place to train for the Pokemon League. Uh, I guess we have to fight these guys too. Because as soon as we get back in, he's going to see us. And gonna have, we're going to have to fight him. But yeah, this should be a pretty decent place to train for... Both the fifth, uh, both the eighth gym and the Pokemon League, but not much to really say. Let's see here. Um, I will say that this area, Kindle Road, and the area directly north from it will be your last chance to get a fire type for you Nuzlockers if you didn't get a fire type either on Route 7, Route 8, or in the Pokemon Mansion. Because Ponyta and Rapidash are available here on Kindle Road, and later if you're playing, and also on Mount Ember if you're. and you don't get them here, and then. In Mount Ember, if you're playing Leaf Green only, you get access to Magmar, which personally probably the best thing that you could get, though it is very rare to encounter. But not too shabby. In any case, I'll just be running out my uh, running out my repel. Probably should have used a regular one, but oh, oh well. And then catching some Pokemon in this area before moving on to the other islands. I suppose one thing I could talk about is how the Nuzlocke has gone. I'm pretty much past the toughest part of it in my opinion with Sabrina in the 
rear view, it's all seeming so much easier because of what team I've collected. And honestly, I can't help but be grateful for that. I was honestly worried that that was going to be the end of my run, but I suppose I was worrying a bit too much for nothing. In any case, everything's been kind of going pretty well, and I mainly play that down to strategy and planning out these things at least as much as I can within control, at least as much as what is within my control to do. I mean, a lot of this only worked because I got the right catches when I needed to. Like that Caterpie that I got all the way back in Birdie and Forest ended up pretty much nailing home the top four members of my team, the first four members of my team. And it's all because I knew what moves that Caterpie would get as a Butterfree. I kind of hope that this has shown, at least to some degree, how you should approach a Nuzlocke if you want to succeed. Though that was never entirely my intention of doing this Nuzlocke. I just wanted to see if I could get through this challenge after the first one that I ever did. Uh, that's a story for another time, as I've previously said. Although I guess I should say that unlike this one, and that one didn't go nearly as well. Uh, let's see. Got a few antidotes left over, so might as well just heal that off. Okay. And we are up at Mount Ember. I will not be ca trying to, not to catch anything on this side of things, but we will likely be catching something inside. I, actually, I don't know why I'm bothering resetting those boulders. They're not going to be around after. Well, they'll still be around, but they're not going to be in the same place that I leave them in. Really hate turners. They... Got, if I remember correctly, there is a cave that I can enter here. Okay, no. I need another repel. That's the last regular one that I've got, so gotta make it count. And of course, well, can't help having to fight every time. This will probably be a bit of a longer episode since it's taking so long for me to just catch something here. Didn't really intend on that, but oh well. Uh, I should probably switch out Maverick because our new level cap, now that we have seven gym badges, is 50 for the eighth gym. And I'm gonna try and not be max level for that just like I was with Blaine because I already kind of sweeped Blaine real easy and I think that I'll have about the same results in the 8th gym but we'll get to that eventually but yeah I think I'll swap around my team just a little 
since you guys haven't actually gotten to see Rooster in combat, I think I'll throw him to the front of the party. Okay, here's the cave that I was looking for. There are two Pokemon available in the cave that we can actually catch. At least I believe so. Okay. Hell's worn off, and now... Here we go. And I just remembered that I should have had Darwin lead, so my bad. Then I have to shift around, so taking a little longer than I would have liked, but oh well. This is a little dangerous, I think, because a chop does have guts for its ability, so paralyzing it will make it stronger, but I have to do something. Yikes, that's really strong. Okay, I'm not gonna keep... I know that I said that Maverick wouldn't be taking any more experience, but... Well, he's not gonna because catching Pokemon, at least in this gen, doesn't give back, uh, doesn't give you experience, which is actually one of my preferred things that they added to these games. But that's neither here nor there. In case we're pretty good here, and I'll have to heal up. I'm just gonna go with not that. Actually, you know what? Yeah. I remember. For those of you that remember this reference, there you go. Okay, let's go back out. And I should probably swap Darwin to the front and then heal him. With a hyper potion since I have it, just so that I don't have to do this multiple times. Okay, Pokemon. Gonna fly. As you can see, the map has been replaced with one island, two island, three island for now. We'll just quickly swing back to. Kindle Road, so that we can find one more Pokemon for this. And we'll stay out of trainer's sights using this. There's only one or t there are only two Pokemon that I can catch here due to my other catches due to the Species Claws, so hopefully it doesn't take too long to find them. That being said, I've been shown in the past that it can sometimes take forever just to find a Pokemon. So let's hope that it just goes quickly. Eh, you know what? No, I think I've spent enough time. I know that that's kind of stupid, but I, if I need to come get Ponyta, I can come get Ponyta. Or Rapidash, whichever one ends up showing up another time. Basically, I'm gonna just save it until something... Until the problem does occur, rather than trying to prepare for it ahead of time. So, we're gonna head off to Two Island, because that's where the guy that we need to drop this meteorite off to is. But before that, there are some things that we have to do. The game corner is right there, but I want to pay special attention to this area, Cape Brink, because up here, you stand on this square and use the item finder. You get a you get a PP max, which will automatic it'll basically be the equivalent of using three PP ups on a move. So, definitely gonna want to keep that in consideration for when we get to the Elite Four. And let's see what we run into here. Noddish, we already have you, so I'm not gonna bother with you. Uh, 
this house right here is a move tutor for your starter, and behind it, in this corner, is a rare candy. That makes 12 now that I've got. So, you can go in there and teach the move to your starter Pokemon if you want. I won't be, because I personally don't think that it's worth it. It's basically just a, a move that's equivalent to Hyper Beam, but of your starter's type, so Grass, Water, or Fire. I personally think that I've got a decent move set on Maverick right now, so I'm not going to bother with it. Anyway... It'll just go down to Game Corner. Now, where is Lost El Garden to today? He always brings me lunch every day, right about now. Mm -hmm. You there. Are you a friend of Lostel's? Have you seen Lostel around? I don't know where she might be. She should have been here long ago. Lostel's a cutie. She got my looks. Uh, I'm not so sure that's a thing to compliment. Okay, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. He's probably not that bad looking for a bald guy. So what if someone... What if something's happened to my Lostel? Please help me find her. Please go search Three Island. Why aren't you searching Three Island? Ah, uh, what is this game corner? How much sadder can this get? Those clowns, they said they'd be waiting on the island, so where are they? Hey you, is this the only three island around here? Try waking up before you crawl out of bed, you punk. This is two island. Move it, get your filthy motorbike out of my place. Huh? Oh, oh, gotcha. These island are, these islands are confusing. When you look at that, that punk scuffed up my floor. Whatever. Not really sure how you could get a simple counting wrong, but whatever. And then just do. Oop, did not mean to go to one island. Oh, well, that's what I get for mashing the A button. But yeah, I said that I would switch Rooster to the front so that you can. Uh, so that you guys could actually see him fight, so let's go to Three Island now. Okay. I think these guys are trainers, so I'm just gonna avoid them. Because we have some forced fights up here. Are you the boss? Go back to Kanto right now. Huh? I just got here, pal. What's with the hostile attitude? It's mighty cold to you. Your gang of followers have been raising havoc on their bikes. Do you have any idea how much trouble they've caused us on the island? No, man, I don't get it at all. Look at this place. What do you do for entertainment? You ought to be thanking us for livening up this sleepy village. Gee, you're not really all that great. But hey, if you insist, you can try making us leave. Grr. You cowards. So tough in a pack. You, what are you staring at? Don't you know it's not polite? You want to make something of it? Sure, why not? I'm sure that I can beat you. <laughs> I like your guts. You'll be losing money to me, but... Yeah, I doubt that. I'm pretty sure I've got you all beat, unless you also have seven badges and six Pokemon, which you don't. Okay, probably not the best combo for me, but oh well. Gonna have a lead with Ancient Power because that has a 10% chance to boost all of Rooster's stats. And of course I don't get it. Oh well. Now to just use Wing. Actually, you know what? Takedown. If it lands, it's gonna hit harder than just about anything. And what do you know? It does. And no recoil, thanks to Rockhead. What? What is this kid? Okay. Oh man, don't you dare laugh at me. Aren't you from Kanto? You should be on our side. I'm on the side of the normal people, guys. No hoodlums. Like, why would I want to raise hell in some remote island? I'm trying to enjoy a vacation before going on to take the, on the gym. Yeah, that coughing's gonna do so much for you. I'm gonna be able to take it down easy as pie. See?
Okay, where is your boss? Send him out so that I can just send you all packing by meeting him. What's the matter with you getting all hot like that? Totally and cool, man. We invited the boss out here, but you had to mess it up. You embarrassed us, embarrassed us man. Uh, I'd say you should be embarrassed. Come on, just send your Grimer out. I'll take it out in one hit, because that's just how much stronger I am than you guys are. And then we can just get on with this. So that I can get back to my main mission here of finding that game corner guy's little girl. Boss, I'm telling you, you gotta do something about this kid. I've been watching you, and I'd say you've done enough. What are you, their friend or something? I'd say I'm more friends with them than you. And I guess you're battling me, then. <clears throat> Alright, cue ball. Let's see what you can do. A wheezing. Well, at least you have the sense to bring an evolved Pokemon with you. Let's see how an ancient power does ya. When it's a critical hit, apparently you don't do too well. And Muck. Well, I gotta give you this. You at least have two Pokemon that are fully evolved. Shame you don't have about four more that are a bit higher leveled. But at least your Muck can take a hit. Let's just take down... Yeah, Rooster's speed and offense is pretty damn good. Higher than... Well, I think his speed's higher than Charlie's was, but his offense might be a bit lower. But in exchange, the rest of his stats are typically better all around. <laughs> yeah, go right on hanging around these hayseeds. Okay, you guys... Just get out of here, I guess. Not anything to deal with. They thought that they were tough, but not really. Anyway, hopefully we can just get through this. Because I want to just make our way through to finding Lostel. Let me just throw up a Max Repel. But I don't have to deal with any Pokemon here because, spoiler alert, I already have everything that you could possibly catch here. That's just how diligent I've been with catching Pokemon throughout this whole run, thanks to the Species Claws. And, of course, we have to fight one more person. Oh well. Should be over soon. I suppose, at least with all these trainer battles that I'm doing, that I'm at least getting some pretty decent experience so that I don't have to train the team up, team up as much for the next episode. Not that they really need as much training now, since we're pretty much nearing the final cap of my run, which the level cap clause after the 8th gym, I have an addendum. That basically sets the calf to the champion's strongest, but I won't be going that far. Because I'm pretty sure that beyond level 60 is kind of overkill for the Elite Four. I think 60, if you can win there, you can... If you can't win there, then you have either a really bad team or just bad moves. Bad strategy. Bad IVs, bad EVs. But I've been pretty diligent with actually training against specific Pokemon so that my team is pretty much optimized to make use of their best stats. Alright, had to fight you. Okay, well, this is going to be a bit of a longer episode than the previous ones have been, so not too bad. Go on, Rooster. Wing attack this thing. And you know what? You guys have gotten to see plenty of Rooster in this 
episode, you see how strong he is, why I kind of replaced uh, <clears throat> Charlie with him. So I'm going to swap Param in because I have an idea. Well, I remember what is coming out and Param is who I would want to lean into the next story beat. So let's just quickly swap around. There we go. And welcome to Berry Forest. Basically just a reskinned uh, Viridian Forest if you ask me, but oh well. Could make the trip shorter by bringing something with cut, but I'd rather not waste a move slot on something that's not all that good. Let's throw up another repel. There are items in here, but I'm not gonna feel inclined to grab them. Pretty much set for what I need. Let's see here, and up here, Bostel. Mm. Oh, please help. Scary Pokemon appeared there a little while ago. It kept scaring. It made Bostel scared. I'm too scared to move, but I want to go home. Oh, here it comes again. No, go away. It's scaring me. Ah, I want my daddy. Yeah, I know. I can't do a little girl's voice to say my life so I didn't even bother to. Her kidnapper is a Hypno, which reading its Pokedex on tree will explain why that is so creepy. In any case, it's not going to be able to stand up to me. I have one of these, so I'm not even going to bother trying to catch it, even though I could catch something here. But whatever, it's done and we can move on. Oh! That was scary. Thank you. Bostel came to pick some berries. You can have this. An Iapa berry. I don't remember what that does. What's your name? Bostel's scared, so can I go with you to my daddy's house? Okay, let's go home. And luckily she just brings us right to the game corner. So, you rescued Bostel? How can I thank you? Bostel, darling, forgive me. Daddy didn't know you were scared and in trouble. It's okay, Daddy. I got to be friends with Cypher. Yeah, okay. Oh, what's that? You're saying this is for me? How did you know I love rare rocks and gems? You sure know how to make a guy happy. And it over the meteorites, so what do we get in return? Oh, I see. This is from Bill. You have to thank him for me. You know, you've been fantastic. I want you to have this. A moonstone. So if you ever needed a moonstone for another Pokemon, say that you got something in the... In Mount Moon and something in the Safari Zone, or if you bought a Clefairy from the uh, Rocket Game Corner, then you could easily just get through and buy, or rather get a Moonstone to evolve it from here. So with that, we've technically completed everything that we have to do on 1, 2, and 3 Island. So we can now head back to Bill, but I think I'm going to end this episode here. As much as it would, as much as I would like to just go back to Kanto and deal with things there, I would rather do some training off screen just to get my team prepared for the final gym battle. And I'd like to start off in, with getting Ponyta or Rapidash next episode. So until next time, thank you all for watching. Stay gold. Playback sequence terminated. Transmission disconnected.